This is Duke University. In 1973, I got a call from my dad, and he uh, said, uh, your mother has breast cancer. I was um, 20 years old, and my brother was 16, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen. We just knew that she had to have surgery or something. In 1977, I started a PhD in gas solid catalysis. So this was chemistry of cracking of petroleum or the you know, big catalytic industry. I started to get interested in cancer, and they have a cancer center in Nottingham, at University of Nottingham, and I went to some of the talks. Now in the mid-70s, people were only just starting to understand the genetic basis of the disease. And so my professor at the time, he was uh, one of the grandfathers of catalysis, very renaissance type professor. And I said I was interested in cancer, he says, well get involved in the membrane then. Because it's the membrane that we think now is, has something to do with it. All at the time, the goal was to understand membranes so I could understand cancer cells. Well, in the meantime, starting in the early 70s, there'd been this uh, movement of using liposomes, which are lipid membrane capsules, for drug delivery. So it turned out that I had all the tools and a lot of knowledge about lipid membranes now uh, to apply to the drug delivery side of treating cancer, not the membrane side of cancer cells. My own experiments were now dealing with how membranes might take up molecules and how those molecules might be washed out. It looks like in those even phase one trials, which is all about just deciding what the dose level should be, that there are some responses which are very encouraging. The, you know, the goal would be to create something that sure would have um, uh, possibly treated my mother. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.